just talk about what Ryan Glasgow has meant to you and, and any update on his status that you can share. Ryan's a tough, hard-nosed player. I mean, he, he epitomizes what we uh, stand for, blue-collar, tough guy. So he's, he's been doing a great job for us all year long. He was in a sling today. Is that uh, an indication of his status for, for Saturday? Um, I mean, you know, Ryan, like a lot of guys are working through things. I mean, it's that, that time of year. It's that part of the season. Um, you know, guys get a little banged up, especially as physical as he plays. And so he's just he's working through some things. Talk if, about that time of year for a minute. Uh, everybody's banged up some, and it's a you've been at it a while. Is it? Easier to coach because you're in a in a conference race at this time of year. Um, I just think I mean you, when when you're coaching the right group of guys, which I believe we have. I mean they they they're, they're they love what they're doing, and, and obviously it, it makes it a little better when when you're in the thick of things. But um, it, it's part of the game. You know we, we have an experienced group that have been through seasons before, and when you get November, you get guys uh, banged up a little bit. There's been a lot of football played, but this is when you got to play your best. So you just got to fight through and keep going. If Ryan can't go. You've already lost Monet at that position. Is there any concern about being a little bit thin at the nose tackle spot? Um, I mean, that, that's, you know, at every spot on the field, you could say if someone wasn't there, you know, and that's just that's part of the game that, uh, you know, you're never going to be really three, four deep at any spot, I don't think. So um, we, we have a lot of guys that, that, that are, are playing well for us, especially on the defensive line, and, and we keep rolling guys in. After, uh, after Hurst, who, who else would be the nose where would that rotation go after Maurice, after Ryan, Maurice, and then who else would it be? Um, I mean, we, we, you know, we've played a lot of guys along the defensive front that have multiple positions. So, I mean, you know, uh, Wormley's played both inside and outside. Willie Henry's played both inside and outside. Um, you know, so I, I think, you know, that those, those guys, are, we've been doing that all year long anyways in, in a rotation. And, um, you know, so no matter what's going on, that's always how we're going to play. You know, whoever's healthy we, up front, we, we, we're pretty deep up there. We're going to play them all. You've had several guy, players express disappointment at their own performance at Minnesota. What's been the response to that in the days that followed? Yeah, you know, I think um, um, I think guys responded the right way last week in their practice, and then uh, went and played a good game on Saturday. And then you know we, we got a whole new challenge this week with, with the great offense we're facing, and uh, they've been put up a lot of points and yards and everything else. So, and unique style and how they play. So, I think I think our guys their focus has been really good. They, they understand the challenge ahead of them. How do you prepare your defense to face an up-tempo offense like that, like Indiana's? Yeah, I mean, you, you know, you, you practice up-tempo, and uh, you know, I mean, we don't, you know, we don't huddle um, ever, anyways. And, and it's kind of always been something that we, we've been starting on since way back in spring, just because of the teams we were going to face this year. And uh, you know, we faced some tempo teams earlier in the year. Um, they're probably the, the fastest tempo team that we have faced. And so, you know, I don't think it's anything. Um, Brand new and what we're doing. I mean, it's, it's always something we prepare for each week, but uh, you know they, they do a really good job of it. DJ, going going back to the, the challenge thing yesterday, it sounded like because uh, Chris was Chris Wormley was one of the guys mentioning you know the arm tackles, um, not running the ball hard <clears> enough. It was almost like maybe he challenged you know himself and teammates. What what does a guy like Chris do for for defense right now in this phase of the game? Yeah, I mean, you know Chris is playing really well for us. He, he's a prideful guy. I think like like most of our defense is, and so. You know, I mean, that, that's been the good thing. When we've had times where, um, you know, myself or our coaches have not been real pleased with their performance, it, it's, it's been one of those deals where you go in the meeting room and, and they feel the same way. And it's not like, you know, they're looking at you like you're crazy. They, they, they agree and understand, you know, it, what, the, what the film shows. And so and that, that, that's the, the best part about our guys. Is that they, they take pride in their performance and uh, it matters to them. And, and so when you, when you have that, guys that are willing, they'll correct it. You mentioned the second half of Rutgers. He said, I, I think you guys saw that we're getting back on the right track. I mean, I guess as a defensive coordinator, when you see those guys be able to flip a switch like that. Yeah, um, yeah, you know, it's not so much flip a switch. It's just kind of about how you, you know, what you do and how, how you play. You play a certain way no matter, no matter what the situation, what the game is, what anything else. You don't let anything else, you know, change how you play. When you're on the field, you do it a certain way. And so, you know, we, we've done that for the most part this year, a large percentage of the time. And, you know, there's always going to be little ups and downs, and you learn from them and grow. And now we got to play our best now. Have you ever had an All-American on your coaching staff that, that could help, like uh, Will is for you guys? And how much of an impact is he? Making? Will Carter, yeah, he does a great job. I mean, he, he's uh, obviously, you know, knowledgeable, and um, the guys have, have respect for him because of, of what he's done on the field. But, but um, he does a great job with them off. He coaches our guys hard, you know. Um, 
and he's just he's a great asset to our to our coaching staff. It really matters the will, and you know he takes great pride in what he does. Is he a natural teacher, or is that something he's still learning? Yeah, no, no, he he's really good. Will Will's got a bright future in coaching ahead of him, and uh, you know he's got a, a good relationship with the kids, and um, you know like I said, he he pushes them hard. They respond.